the inspirational video of the day. Please forward to share this with anyone you'd like to and keep staying positive and making yourself a little bit better every day. Uh, today's guest speaker is Mr. Kylie Yates. He's the head basketball coach at South O'Brien and has had a ton of success in his career with over 300 wins and a state title. Um, I reached out to Coach Yates early in my career for advice and help, and we've developed a relationship. Uh, that relationship basically goes like this. I ask him several questions. He responds. That's basically it. I learn from him. I don't know if he learns much from me, but he's always willing to answer an email or answer a phone call. And he's the type of guy that I literally take notes when I talk to. Um, and so I appreciate all that he's done to help me. And uh, he talks about three things to be successful. And his third thing is being willing to do something for someone who can't do anything for you in return. And uh, our relationship is epitome of that. When I reached out to him, it was my first year of coaching. I knew basically nothing and I could give him nothing, and he still was willing um, to give me some information and uh, probably more information uh, than he should have. And so the only thing that he's ever asked me in return is he said, Mr. Hoig, make sure when you're an old coach and somebody reaches out to you um, that you help them as much as you can. Now, I don't know if I'll ever be a successful enough coach for people to reach out to me, but I can tell you this, if anybody reaches out to me, I'm going to give them anything I got uh, because of Coach Yates. And he's got a great little speech for you. Uh, you might want to take notes. This is Coach Yates with some inspiration of the day. Coach, thanks for the opportunity to speak to your Facebook group, Positivity, during this uh, quarantine COVID-19 situation. I uh, want to congratulate you and your boys, community and school for qualifying for the Boys Basketball State Tournament for the first time in West Sioux school history. That's an amazing accomplishment and a uh, Accumulation of a great deal of hard work and attitude and unselfishness, the three keys to success that I'm going to talk about today. Hard work is just that good hard work ethic, passion, preparation that leads to all things being successful. Sports that could be running, going to the weight room, speed and agility, sports specific skills of shooting, dribbling, and passing, hitting, throwing, and catching. Hard work every day or as many days as you can to really try to get better. We think you'll get good at whatever you spend a lot of time at. If you spend 20 minutes a day reading, you become a good reader. You spend a couple hours a day working on your schoolwork here now that uh, the quarantine's in place, you'll get good at those things. You spend some time shooting the basketball, you'll improve. Right now, I'll bet you're spending some time playing video games with your buddies, which is a good way to stay connected. And you're getting good at NBA 2K. And you're probably also getting good at uh, making TikTok videos to put out there. But uh, work ethic. Henry Clay, the great 19th century statesman, said, you can't fake the harvest. And I think that really applies to us here in Iowa. We know what we got to do in the spring and what the summer has to look like so we can get to harvest come the fall. And a time will come in which winter will ask what you did all summer. We say that to our basketball guys as they go to put in some spring and summer work uh, to get ready for next season. Winter is going to ask what you did all summer. Our second idea we think of being successful is having a great attitude. A little thing that makes a big difference. The great thing about attitude is we can choose every day what our attitude is. We can choose every hour, and we can choose in every situation. It can be negative, which is probably going to lead us to some bad situations, or it can be positive, which can lead us to some good situations. Charles Swindoll once said, Life is 10% what happens to me, and 90% how I choose to react to it. How do you react to your friend or your teammate when he calls you out about putting that hard work in to improve? How do you react to your parents when they ask you to do something? How do you react to your teachers? And how do you react to your coaches when they ask you to do something that maybe isn't in your best interest, but is in the best interest of the team? And that leads to unselfishness, which is our third idea. 
The world is made up of over seven and a half billion people, and with one minor exception, it's made up of other people. Cal Ripken got up and gave a uh, college commencement speech. Thousands of people there celebrate a great day, and he got up and he only spoke one word, others, and went and sat back down. Well, the last part of our personality to develop is selflessness. Uh, the hierarchy of needs is we want to survive. We need to eat and we need to be clothed and we need to have shelter, etc. And later, as we become mature, we become more unselfish. Nick Saban at Alabama said, we have to get out of ourselves and into the team. If we want to go fast, we can go alone. If we want to go far, we want to go together. And we know when we go together, it's a, a lot more fun. Caring about something bigger than yourself. The synergy that's created by the group. And that's the challenge of what makes this situation so hard for us. Is that we're physically separated. We have media to be able to connect us. But the challenge of not seeing our friends and our teammates on a daily basis is hard. Martin Luther King said, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? If you could, um, today, I'll give you a challenge. If you could do one random act of kindness, and we think it's a good day if you do something for someone who can't do anything to you or for you. If we're nice to elderly folks and young kids, then we know that we have pure motives. But then that would make us unselfish and that would make us think about other people. Coach, thanks for the opportunity to speak today on three keys to success of hard work, attitude, and unselfishness. Hopefully this crisis ends soon and we're back to school in May and we can finish spring sports and get summer sports going and we can get ourselves back in the gym and the weight room and get life back to normal here in the country. Thank you.